So what we've got here is a beautiful, and it's really, really simple to make, by the way, vegetable coconut stew. We've got a really spicy habanero or a scotch bonnet in there, some allspice or pimento, a couple of other little bits and pieces. Use any veg you like. It is fabulous. Vegetarian, healthy, vegan. Let's get on with it. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. So the selection of vegetables that you use is entirely up to you, but this is what I'm using today. I'm going carrots, mushrooms, bell peppers, zucchini. These two are kind of, as you can see, a bit bigger. So I've got three cups of mushrooms. I've cut them fairly thin. Bell peppers, I've got three colors in there. And then two cups of carrots and zucchini. One cup of onion, a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. If you don't have ginger garlic paste, you can just chop some ginger and some garlic. Here I've got a nice, very spicy scotch bonnet or habanero. It's very, very spicy. Be careful with that. And again, if you don't have that, you could maybe use some hot pepper sauce or something. And then a teaspoon each, salt, pepper, allspice or pimento, turmeric and dried thyme. Let's get this together. Of course, we're gonna be adding some coconut milk, a couple of other things. So I've got my pan here, I've got like three or four tablespoons of oil. I'm using the sunflower oil. You can change that if you want. We're gonna drop in our one cup of onion. I'm also now gonna get in our carrots, two cups of carrots. And we're gonna drop in the scotch bonnet or the habanero, what you've got. What I've done is I've just sliced it open like that. I'm keeping it whole. That is fire. Like I say, if you don't have that, you could use something like this stuff here, which, you know, can replace it. Slightly above medium heat, we're gonna go for three to four minutes. Fantastic. Okay, next up, I'm gonna get my ginger garlic paste in. Like I say, if you don't have it in a paste form, you can just chop some garlic and ginger in there. And if you're using like celery or other harder vegetables, get them in now. You know, with the carrots, they cook about the sort of same time-ish. Then we're gonna go with our bell peppers. Our mushrooms. And I'm going to cook these for like another three minutes or so, stirring pretty much all of the time. Next up, I'm going to go for my zucchini, which is my last vegetable. And then we've got salt, pepper, thyme, allspice or pimento, turmeric. Three more minutes, again stirring pretty much all the way. What I've done is I've just turned the heat down, not to a simmer but above a simmer. And we're now gonna add 500 ml of coconut milk. We're gonna let this go now, just for about another four to five minutes. Really delicious, so easy and delicious. Okay, off goes the heat. That is delicious. Just gonna put a little bit of cilantro or coriander in there, whatever you call that, and that's ready to eat. Now, you can fish this out if you want, unless you are a complete nutcase and a complete chili freak. I mean, I like chili, but no chance will I eat that. So you can fish, fish it out, it's done its job, or you can serve it and just dodge it. That's it, chuck it for salt, fantastic stuff. And there you have it. So look, that's de delicious with some just plain white rice if you want, or with some sort of roti or sort of bread like that. Hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thanks a lot for getting to the end of the video. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up, that does help us out quite a lot with the algorithm and such like. Subscribe if you like, you'll get notified about what we're doing. There's a thanks button if you want to donate. See you soon.